Hey guys, what's going on? This is Mike, and today Apple just released iOS 10.2 Beta 1 to developers. So let's go ahead, take a look, and see what's new. So as you may notice on my home screen, uh, the first notable difference is Apple is actually including three new wallpapers in this beta. So as you can see, this is kind of that uh, floating colorful bubble that you saw uh, whenever Apple was marketing the iPhone 7. So if we go into settings and wallpaper here, you can see uh, that these three new wallpapers are here, uh, blue, pink, and orange. What is kind of disappointing though is these are not live wallpapers and when we saw these on for example Apple's website when they were marketing the iPhone 7, uh, these bubbles were kind of floating around the screen. So it would have been kind of cool if we could force press on these wallpapers and kind of see them move uh, but nevertheless it is definitely uh, a welcome change to see three new wallpapers in this version of iOS. Another small change is the addition of a widget for the videos app. So I added it here on my widget panel and uh, I don't use the videos app on my iPhone actually so that's why it says no videos. Uh, but if you did have music videos or movies on your phone uh, that you have watched recently, in the videos widget it will show uh, recently watched and recommended videos. Possibly my favorite change in this beta is the new camera preservation settings. So as you can see here, there's three toggles, camera mode, photo filter, and live photo. Now pretty much what this does is, for example, if you take a lot of photos in uh, square mode or panorama mode, and then you close out of the camera app, before it would just default back to the regular photo mode, and then to get back to the mode you use a lot, you'd have to swipe a lot in the camera app. Uh, well, if you turn on these preservation settings now, and you turn on camera mode or photo filter or even live photo, it will revert to that uh, setting that you last left it on. So if I turn on camera mode here, and I go in the camera app, and if we switch to uh, square, and we're taking a square photo, and then I leave the app, and I can even kill the app if I want to, if I open up camera again, you can see it'll open to square. So a really welcome change if you do uh, take a lot of photos in the non-default photo mode. So there are some new emojis in this update. So right there you can see there's the clown emoji and then just below that there's the emoji with the cowboy hat on and then on the left in the middle there you can see uh, there's an emoji that's uh, laugh crying and it's kind of tilted. Uh, so more ways to express how you're feeling uh, with emojis in this update. If you go into settings and then accessibility and then home button, there is a new option uh, for when you press and hold the home button. So right now it's defaulted to Siri because I use Siri a lot. Uh, you can turn it off or you can actually have voice control. I think voice control was actually disabled on the last couple versions of iOS. So it is kind of neat to have it brought back. It's kind of like a flash from the past. Uh, but right now it doesn't seem to be working. So if I go on voice control and I press and hold my uh, finger on the home button, doesn't matter how long I hold it for, uh, it doesn't seem to be working. So hopefully uh, a later beta will have this working. But uh, yeah, you can choose to have Siri on when you hold the home button or you can just turn it off if you want. In the messages app, there is a brand new full screen effect and it is called celebration. So if we do a 3D touch on the send button and go full screen up at the top here, it's all the way at the end. Uh, but as you can see, it is kind of a different animation there uh, that looks like something exploding and it looks like a celebration. So uh, yeah, another full screen effect in messages. A small change in the music app is now you can actually change how your songs are being sorted directly from within the music app. So before you'd have to go into settings and then scroll down to music and then change your sorting settings there. But now you can just click this button on the top right that says sort and then you can choose to sort by title or artist. So you can see artist there and then sort title there. So definitely a lot easier uh, than having to go all the way into settings. So guys, those are all the uh, major changes that I could find in iOS 10.2 beta 1. I will have more videos on the later betas of iOS 10.2, so definitely subscribe for that. Uh, other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. My name is Mike, and I'll see you in the next one.